Texas CPS worker fired after being filmed telling a 14 year old girl to become a prostitute. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AAG's Point of View where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video we have a CP, Texas CPS worker who's going around telling their clients to become prostitutes. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. There'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over it, similar to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. In Texas, a child protective services worker was fired for allegedly telling a 14-year-old child to become a prostitute. The unidentified CPS worker was filmed by the child after the worker allegedly suggested to the child to become a prostitute several times previously. The CPS commissioner reportedly traveled to meet with the girl and her family to make an apology. The girl's mother, Keisha Baisley, told Fox 26 Houston, this should not happen to girls in their care. It should not happen. It's unacceptable. Basie originally contacted the CPS to help her when her daughter started running away and getting into trouble at school. After the video of the CPS employee telling Basie's daughter to become a prostitute, Basie lodged a formal complaint, as she should. She said, if me, the parent, was to do something like this to my child, I will be bashed. She would. I will be called a horrible parent and I will lose my kids all day long. Um, we also have, there's no more actually, uh, no more to the story. It's an actual short story. But what I'm going to do is post little different tweets or whatever from different people just to see just so that you can see the disdain that people are having um, with this worker, you know what I mean? Because it's truly unacceptable. And um, I'll continue to talk as the tweets go across. Uh, yeah, I mean, I used to be an advocate, you know what I'm saying? I was an advocate over in um, here in uh, Philadelphia. And um, I work with the kids, love working with them. Love doing my, uh, you know, doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, hanging out with them, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, just just, just having a good old time, you know what I'm saying. You know, they was less than privileged children. Um, they were the kids that everyone didn't want to be around, you know what I'm saying, but it was because of their behavior, you know what I'm saying. They had behavior issues, um, and they definitely needed some help, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I was able to help quite a few gentlemen, you know what I'm saying, that was under my care. Um, this CPS worker in Texas, she seemed like she just did for the check. She don't care nothing about them kids. She just did for the money. I'm going to do the minimum and hopefully I can make the maximum. You know what I'm saying? And that's unfortunate because it's like, you know, you wonder why so many youth these days are just going off the rails. You know what I'm saying? And we need more positive role models in their lives. To actually bring them up and make sure that you know the correct things are being done you know what i'm saying you know the uh the correct techniques and and, and, and you know um effective you know qualities brought to them by the worker should be harbored in the child i mean they always say it takes a village to raise a child which is true but you got to make sure the village and the people in the village are good people you know what i'm saying so you want to make sure that you got the right thought processes you know, the right attitudes the right spirit everything you know what i'm saying it's not just being there putting food on the table telling the kid to go to school and keeping it moving it's way more than that you know what i'm saying and it's you know you got to really 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 pay attention to what you're doing when you're dealing with these kids because one slip up they're going to call you on it as you could very well see on this young lady um now this young girl said that uh, she 
you've heard this from the CPS worker several times before and chose to tape her just so that the mother can hear this. I'm glad she did that because now you shine a light on that organization over there. Now they need to go get checked on and um, you know, we gotta make sure that uh, everything is all good with them, you know what I'm saying? Because every organization like this <clears throat> that has kids in it needs to be audited. We need to see <coughs> what kind of um, practices that you have on a daily basis. When, um, when trouble comes, how do you handle it? You know what I'm saying? When situations like this ha happens, what do you do? Now I understand they said, you know, I think the uh, I was a legislator or somebody. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description to this story, and you go and watch the news excerpt on this um, from Texas. I don't really want to post it up there because it's a news story, and I shouldn't be getting credit for what the news you know provided. So I'm gonna let you click the link in the description, look at the story, and see the video that's attached to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's something that needs to be you know checked on not just in texas but all across america you know what i'm saying that you know these kids are going to these institutions these institutions are making millions of dollars off of these kids okay what are you doing to better these kids and what are you doing to help them get back into society and becoming a better individual a more productive individual what's going on what are we doing so you know that's the end of my story if you like what you've heard Please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. It'll bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself. I'm checking out on my TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, yeah, we can have a conversation of what you think about this woman and what she did. Now, you know, prayers go out to this mother, and I hope that she can get the proper guidance for her child, and that this child does turn around and get to be better and turn around and help other young ladies that's in that position to get better and do better. So, you know, that remains to be seen, but, um, you know, we can only hope. With that being said, I love every single one of y'all. Please be extra careful out there. And um, I'll talk to you in the next episode. Peace.